You could have done what I'd done, but you ain't know what I'm on. In the track, trying to double it up. Now, I've got a lot of videos like this in my watch layer, yeah? These are the type of videos that I'll probably normally watch outside of YouTube. But I said, you know what? Since I'm kind of sick, I don't got energy like that, yeah? But I still want to upload something and I still want you guys to see me do reactions. I, I saw this video comes up 15 facts about Albania. Now, I don't really know facts like that, or my facts could be just what I heard on the internet. But you guys that are watching this are from the country or it's your nationality, you get me? So I want to know if the facts that they're saying on this is true or they're chatting, shh, you get me? I ain't even gonna do no intro because let's just see what I got. 15 facts about Albania. Fifteen facts you didn't know about Albania. Without further ado, let's get started. You probably didn't know about the small country that possessed both an Ionian and Adriatic coast. Nah, is that the beach in Albania? That ain't the beach in Albania, bro. You're telling me that Albania have a better beach than the UK? To be honest, any country have a better beach than England. You know the last time I saw a clear beach like that? I was in Jamaica. I need to go Albania on a holiday. That, that looks sick. Albania is a country in southeastern Europe on the Balkan Peninsula and spans across an area of 11,100 square miles. Crazy. The neighboring countries include Macedonia, Greece, Kosovo, Serbia, and Montenegro. You don't know one, about Serbia, Albanians do not call their country Albania, instead the name for the nation in its mother tongue is Kaperi. Albania has been an independent country for 105 years. During that time, it's become an increasingly popular tourist destination. That's what I'm saying. It I attracts mean, beach you know foodies interested. Props to this guy. Props. Because a lot of Albanian videos that's on YouTube, bro, I'll say it. They make they they're putting out videos that that make you don't want to go to the country. They're not showing the beautiful side of the country. They're just showing things that people don't want to hear about, bro. Like even if I'm going there, I don't hear about that. Want to hear about? Tell me something positive, and I'll go there. If you tell people full their head of this negative stuff, they're not gonna go there. But this, to me, oh, it's a vacation thing. Cause traditional cuisine and history buffs looking nice for a rich well. cultural heritage. Number two, Tirana. The capital of Albania has a lot of things in common with other European capitals, except one. It's one of the only capitals without a McDonald's. Another is Vatican City. Tirana is the heart of the country with a vibrant and youthful atmosphere. Post-communist transformation I, is most apparent. I always have this thing like, I know that McDonald's have a different menu in different countries, yeah? So what's the McDonald's like over there? Because I would like to try that because I know what the McDonald's like this in the UK is like, but... Just tell me what it is like, innit? Oh, like Vatican City. Tirana is the heart of the country with a vibrant and youthful atmosphere. Post-communist transformation is most apparent here. It's practically unrecognizable from its old self. Colors decorate the buildings, more public squares and pedestrian streets, as well as new businesses and shoppings. Check out Bloku, where there are great bars. What's the nightlife like over there, my guy? Man slap us with the advert cuz jeez making peas and that Now I know how you guys feel <laughs> oh, right. Where there are great bars That's nice As well as the Grand Boulevard with interesting relics from the Ottoman Empire Number 3 More Albanians leave outside the country than within is that people? The Albanian diaspora is vast, stretching from its name. If that's on the outside, I don't want to see the inside. There's people, literally, if the ship rocks, they're just going to fall off. Like, that's bare. Greece and Italy to further afield nations such as the US and Canada. Okay, so no. much so that they're it is believed the that the number cause... of Albanians living outside Albania is greater than the country's population of nearly 3 million. Hundreds of thousands emigrated following the collapse of the communist regime in 1991 and ensuing economic crisis. Number 4. You can't set your clock by Albanian buses. Albanian buses, or vans, called Fergans, have no timetable. They depart when they are full and ready. 
Number five. Oh, that reminds me of Jamaica Manson. Oh, I ain't going nowhere until I get this motherfucker folded up. So I don't know what you're all about. You're going to be waiting for five hours. <laughs> have no timetable. They depart when they are full and ready. I don't find that funny, bro. Number five. It has just one Nobel Prize winner. Albania's hero, Mother Teresa, though born in the then Ottoman Empire, now capital of Macedonia, she was Albanian. Everyone she won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1979 for her work helping the poor in Calcutta, India. Number 6, smile and nod has different connotations in Albania. Albanians nod when they mean no. And shake their head when they mean yes. Be careful answering. What? Correct me if this is wrong, but why are you going to make your life difficult for man? You're telling me that this is no and this is yes. I don't believe that, bro. Albanians nod when they mean no. That's crazy. And shake their head when they mean yes. Be careful answering questions with your head. When an Albanian is agreeing with you, they will shake their head. And when they are disagreeing with you, they will nod. Be warned and avoid confusion. So basically yes means no, and yes. no means yes. That's crazy. Number 7. It was a communist island. When the communist era ended in 1991, there were roughly 3 million people in the country but only 3,000 cars. Communism isolated the country and for a long time, only party officers were permitted to... 3 million people, 3,000 cars. So they're just basically... The local population, all they have to be doing is just walking around, ain't no car, nothing. That's crazy. In the years since, many more cars have come into the country, and the national preference appears to be Mercedes-Benz. Number 8. Military Bunkers. So we've had bunker mentality and bunker islands, but this is the real bunker cherry on the bunker cake. Albania is littered with bunkers. There are on average 5.7 for every square kilometer and more than 750,000 across the country. Built under the leadership of communist dictator Andrew Hatsa, who was fearful of attack by his enemies, just about everyone at that time. The majority of the bunkers were never used and were mostly abandoned after the fall of communism. So they just they lying around. Number nine, it has loads of flowers, though small. Albania possesses oh, more than 3,250 species of plants, Damn. which accounts for 30% of all flora in Europe. The best places to see the country's colorful national parks, of which there are 15. Logara is best for vibrant flora and fauna, while Batrind, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, offers hey, archaeological sites that date Albania back visit, to the you know? Romans. Listen, it's probably going to be hard for me to travel over there because you know I'm an immigrant and that, yeah? When I say an immigrant, I mean I'm from Jamaica. I still have a Jamaican passport, yeah, so... Man's gonna have to get a visa and that, cuz... Flora and Fauna, while Batrind, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, offers archaeological sites that date back to the Romans. Number 10. Europe's Prettiest Towns. It's nice. Look at the mountains, The Albanian man. town of Barat. <laughs> Once a Jeez. frontier town of the Byzantine Empire, as a UNESCO prescribed old town and was rated as one of the most beautiful places in Europe, like that, according to a poll by the Japanese like tourist board. Number 11, Evening Walk. In the evenings, the locals like to walk, but it's not just a walk, known as Zero. It's an official evening walk where every resident comes out to stretch their legs and catch up with their neighbors. In many towns, the roads close to cars for certain hours. Usually apartment blocks get empty and everyone gathers at various places, walking and talking until nightfall. Number 12. Religion. The majority of Albanians are Muslim. About 70% at last count. A 2011 census shows that about 60% of Muslims are practicing Sunni and Bektashi Shia, making it the largest religion in the country. About 17% are Christian, Damn. which makes it the second largest religion. In Jamaica, Christianity is the highest religion, I think. But I didn't know this. And another 17% are either undeclared or atheist. You're likely to notice a large number of scarecrows in odd places. 
Albanians believe that a scarecrow placed on a home or other building, while it's under construction, will ward off envy from bad spirits. Sometimes you'll see, a teddy bear serving the same purpose. The odd part, is that the scarecrow or the teddy bear, will be impaled on a rod, or hung by a rope, like a noose. Some, also say that bring good luck. So what happened to the other side of the building, bruh? It's just on one side. Number 13, Rocky. Rocky is the national drink, but be warned. Rocky, made out in the villages, is equal to about three normal drinks. That's so me, Rocky right. is quite unique. It's an old school <laughs> moonshine made from grapes that is I incredibly like strong. <laughs> You'll find it in most bars, but be sure to pay attention to its source. If it comes out of a... Bro, look at the process that it has to go through. Fuck. ...repurposed plastic bottle or plain glass jug, you're likely getting a strong homemade Rocky, likely to put hair on your chest. <laughs> Number 14. Currency. <coughs> the currency of Albania is called Lek and is issued by the Bank of Albania. Frequently used coins are denominations of 5, 10, 20, 50, and 100 lek. Similarly, most frequently used bank notes are 200, 500, 1000 lek. Sometimes Albanians add an extra zero to the end of numbers. Albanians Why? do this not to be shady, but rather out of habit, since that is the difference between the old lek and new lek. For instance, someone might say you owe 1,000 lek. What they really mean is that you owe 100 lek. Why? One US dollar <laughs> equals 109.7 lek, approximately. One euro equals 135.7 lek, approximately. Number 15, haircut. After you get a haircut, you get slapped on the neck. Why? <laughs> After you get slapped, the slapper will say me shundi, meaning on your health bro it, i'll be learning to cut my hair from them imagine imagine having a difficult day bro they just does you have a difficult day but oh i'm gonna chain myself up i'm gonna go get a gym i'm gonna go gym sort myself out you get me a look the fit yeah just knowing that you're going to the barber shop to get a slap in your head back <laughs> this video interesting leave a big thumbs up let me know what was the most unusual funny or interesting fact that you didn't know Slap about Albania. Back, also, if I you would like to suggest head. a future topic, leave a comment down below and let me know what is it. If you are new to my channel, subscribe. There are a lot of interesting upcoming videos. Damn, that's 15 facts about Albania. If you like these type of videos, show your support by slapping up that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Speed your boy, speed your homie. Peace.